Hello everyone, welcome back to Betrayer. Hopefully this video looks better than the rest have, because they really haven't looked too good. And the reason for that is because YouTube overcompresses everything to hell. They compress things to very low bit rates. It might be 1080p, but it's a very low bit rate 1080p. And this game requires an absurdly high bit rate. So it's never gonna look great. However, I think I can make it look better, because the videos that I've been rendering, the videos that I've been uploading to YouTube before YouTube to then recompress them, even those videos actually haven't looked great, despite me kind of giving them a rather generous, generously high bitrate. Probably higher than most people would. I mean, each one hour episode that I render out is about 7 gigabytes, but I guess I'm just going to give them more bitrate. It's basically the only thing I can do, so hopefully they'll look a little bit better. Also, I loaded my game and I was not in front of, what is it, Fort Hope? Yeah. I was not in front of Fort Hope, so I guess it just puts you at the last, like, hub location? I don't know, I guess spawn points are, like, in between levels, because this is right at the very beginning. And also at forts and stuff like that, so it put me back here. Oh, well. Haven't played in a little while, so I accidentally overshot my first arrow. And then I remembered, oh yeah, your arrows go above your crosshair, not below. Very strange. So I wonder if when I saved my game in front of Fort Hope, if it saved the status of my equipment, but only simply moved my spawn point to somewhere else? No one can face the mighty wrath. The mighty wrath. Yes, no one can face the mighty wrath. Let me try that again. No one can face the mighty wrath of my bow skills. Hmm. I think there was a box here. I feel like there was. So I think it did save the state of the world. Yeah, just to give you a point of comparison for the amount of bitrate this game requires, I'm using OBS to record this in essentially lossless format. It's not literally lossless, but it's really, really close. It basically, I've basically set it to take as much bitrate as it needs to get the maximum amount of quality. And during high movement scenes, like right now when I'm running, the bitrate is going up to like 100 megabits per second. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 100 megabits per second. It is absurdly high. And when I compress them, I compress them to minimum 15 megabits per second, maximum 20, I think. which is about one-fifth of what it needs right now. Oh god, it's even higher. It's a, it's like 130 megabits per second right now. Is that actually what is that, 130? Is that even possible? I'm not even sure if the if an MP4 format actually supports that high. Well, MP4 is just a container. It's The actual codec is... Uh, what is it? AVC? H264? I'm not sure. Codecs are confusing. Where am I going? North. I saw you. There's another one. Where? I thought there was another one. Maybe you got cold feet. I must be seeing things.
Let's see if the Ashen people are back. Yes, they are. Where? Where? There's also a shiny thing over there. What is that? Oh, it's a cross. Actually, maybe they're not back. I definitely heard at least one, though. Dug up an ornamental silver shape for a rapier scabbard. Oh, there you are. It is no heathen curse that afflicts us. It is punishment from God. For we for we parlay with his enemies when we should strike them down. We must not fear them, even if every last savage rises against us. For God is with us. When you would not grant him audience, Griffin May traveled to my home to accost me with his usual litany of complaints, delivered with his usual wearisome fervor. It was all I could do to send him on his way before dark, lest he think to impose upon my hospitality for the night. Griffin May sounds like an annoying douchebag. I'm guessing I'm going to learn more about him. Hold on, let's look around first before I try to buy anything. How much money do I have? 2,000? Okay, I'm gonna buy something. Making bank. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. I don't have a bell. Gotta go hunt for it. Spade. I really like the thunk that it makes. It's very satisfying, isn't it? Alright, let's see what I can buy. And what do I have? Quality longbow, common shortbow, quality musket. Okay, so I guess the next thing I probably want is a quality shortbow. I am hunted and haunted in equal measure. I have sustained wounds and bruises to my body and my pride. Yet still I have managed to secure several items of fine quality. I hope they are of interest, as you seem to be my last customer. Oh yeah, what was up with the crossbow? I think I decided something about that, that I didn't want it. Why was that? Oh, isn't it, it's like the musk, isn't it like the musket, but it simply, uh, you can recover your bolts or something? I don't know. I don't think I want it, though. Oh, now there's exceptional weapons, not just quality. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't actually use muskets that much, so I definitely need to focus my resources on bows. Is there even a short bow here? They don't, wait. Do you not even sell bows? You don't. Huh. Strange? That makes me think maybe I should buy 
a crossbow. Alright, hold on, let's look at a quality one. So damage is a hundred. Range is medium. So it's in between the range of these two things. Speed is slow. Speed of my musket is slow. Yeah, so again, it's just like the musket. Except it's got a shorter range. Actually, no, it's got the same range. You can recover the stuff. And it's stealthy. It's pretty much just... better. It does seem like it's just better than the musket. There's a little bit less damage. Hmm. Hmm. But hold on, nobody I'm actually fighting has crossbow bolts, right? Because they're not using crossbows, which means we're going to have to buy ammo for it if I want to use it. No, I'm good. I like my bows. And I like the p of this thing. A noose hangs from the crossbeam. Roland Graves killed by savages. Hold on. Can I shoot myself in the face? Oh, that did not go straight up, did it? What the hell? You can aim straight up, but it looks like the arrows don't go straight up. Yeah, that is really strange. Something that way. It's another cross, too. Oh, there's a bell. So what is that way? I'm looking southeast. This way, just into the forest. Well, let's get the bell in order before I worry about going into the forest. Nicholas Tucker rests here. Let's have a look, though. Don't see anything. You know, I'm seriously tempted just to, like, max the quality of this video when I go to render it and make it, like, 40 gigs and upload that. I mean, I've got pretty good... I've got a pretty good upload speed, but it's not that good. That would make it so I can only upload, like, one episode a night. Which would drive me crazy. Alright, the lands I'm visiting are getting more and more corrupted. I need to collect the spirits and send, send them home.
going north into the mountains. Oh, that's a totem, isn't it? Yep, and it's corrupted, of course. Alright, let's do this. Come on out, you demon, you foul demon. I will vanquish thee. Oh, that wasn't hard. What the heck is that? I don't see a totem or a chest or a person. That's strange. went right through him. Come on. There we go. It literally went through his chest cavity. Ooh, a third tomahawk. as well as fast travel. Do you not hear the screams? Terrible, wretched screams. I do not. Strange. They have fallen silent. Or could it be that I dreamed them? My dreams are troubled of late. But where am I? How did I come to be here? Go home. Didn't even have to fight for this one.
I've lost my way. Go home. Where's Roger Emery? Where did you last see him? We wandered away from the path, down the hill from the fort. I remember he was holding his scabbard so that I could admire it, boasting about the quality of his rapier, saying it was a finer weapon than I'd ever owned. Who are you? I'm Oswin Ford. Do you recognize the scabbard? I remember Roger Emery dropped it, and the chape broke off. I told him it was bad luck, for it was a handsome scabbard. I found the scabbard by the gate. I remember Isabel opened her hand, and it fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see her. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see in her eyes. Where are my wife and daughter? What are their names? My wife is Philippa, and Allison is my daughter. Who are you? I am James Markley. Where'd you last see Philippa? I remember I was walking across the yard just after dusk. I heard her speak my name, and I spun, startled. I saw her standing by the gate in the firelight. What about Allison? I remember her saying goodnight to me as I sat at my desk, writing an urgent letter. I could barely make her out in the doorway by the light of the lantern. She lingered a moment longer, and then disappeared into shadow. She was gone in the morning. She left a note saying she was going to find her sister. Simon Halt went with her. I sent Clement Wright and two others after them. Where is my father? Where did you last see him? In a field. I remember him clutching his scabbard to him. I saw that it was damaged. He was whispering something. Something important. Is this the chape from his scabbard? Yes. Then you are Isabel Emery? Yes. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to shoot. Damn it, I missed. Fuck. These tomahawks just seem to go right through the skeletons practically. Oh no you don't! Oh no you don't! Yeah, the tomahawk is just so slow. And really prone to missing. What is that?
dug up a silver locket with a broken chain. It contains an image of the Savior. The initials PM are inscribed on the back. PM, who would that fit? Have I found a PM? Philippa Markley? Yeah, it's gotta be her. The remains of a woman who appears to have been bound to a tree. There are signs that she was savaged by wild beasts, though whether she was alive or dead by then is unclear. The cart seems to have become stuck in the mud. Alright, so she was transporting something in this cart, got stuck, and then somebody tied her to a tree and she got eaten by beasts? Isabel. Is this your scabbard? Yes. Then you're Roger Emery. Yes, I remember. What happened? I remember she leaned close to me. She was crying. I told her to smile for me. I reached out to wipe away her tears. It took all my courage. All my strength. A woman's scarf crusted with dried blood. You know, I was just about to say, if this is more corruption, I actually don't have any heals left, but thankfully this is here. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Never mind. Sweet. Corruption's gone. Your father remembers wiping away your tears. He told me to smile. He told me to be strong. I found this bloody scarf. I remember kneeling over him, where he lay face down in the dirt. I pulled off my scarf and pressed it against the wound to try to stop the blood from spilling out of him. He was clutching his scabbard to him. I saw that it was damaged and that his sword was still sheathed. He hadn't even drawn it. He was whispering something. Something important. It was the name of his murderer. I begged him not to die, but he was already gone. After a time, I drew out his sword and walked up, up the path to the fort to kill Oswin Ford. Oswin Ford was his murderer. Is that you or the other one? That's you. Isabel Emery tried to kill you? She did. I remember the men pulling her away from me. The blade of the rapier had struck my belt, which spared me a more grievous wound, but the pain was still immense. Isabel cursed me as a murderer and a coward. I remembered how, when I thrust my sword into Roger Emery's spine, he dropped his scabbard and the chape broke off. I told him it was bad luck, for it was a handsome scabbard. But then I pulled my blade free and watched him drop to his knees. I told him that if you mean to duel a man, you deem a coward and a cur. You should keep your guard up, lest he seek to give you a dishonorable death. And then I left him there, and walked back to the fort. Isabel must have found him before he died. When I kicked away the stool she was standing, she was standing on, 
The rope went taut, and she swung from the gate, slowly strangling. She opened her hand, and the chape from her father's scabbard fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see her. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see in her eyes. What the fuck? <sighs> Every tale is more cheerful than the last. This locket is inscribed with your wife's initials. It is hers. It was given to her as a gift by my late mother. God rest her. I found it near the remains of a woman who had been bound to a tree. Then she is truly dead. I remember hearing her speak my name as I walked across the yard after dusk. I spun startled and saw her standing by the gate in the firelight. She turned and walked into the night, but I did not follow, for I feared it could only be a phantom come to lure me into my doom. I think I hear something very slight this way. Yes, this way. Where is Tabitha? Who is Tabitha? Or Tabitha? I don't know how you pronounce it. My daughter. I was sitting beside her bedside. Allison was asleep already. But Tabitha seemed restless. I brushed the hair from her face, and she smiled at me. I hummed a lullaby I had sung since they were both girls, and soon she was fast asleep. I suppose I nodded off sitting there, for I woke shivering in the dark, and then I realized Tabitha was gone. We found no trace of her, the sentry swore they had not seen her, but her clothing was gone. My husband rode into the forest to search for her, but he could not find her. Do you recognize this locket? It is mine. Then you must be Philippa Markley. Yes. What happened to you? I remember telling my husband that I wanted to see Tabitha again. He said she was never coming home. It seems you have two daughters. I did, once, but Tabitha is not my daughter anymore. I cast her out from our family. You what? Why? She ran off to the savages. Then that's why he said she wasn't coming home. Philippa confessed that she knew Tabitha was fond of a savage boy, that Tabitha had made a pendant from an arrowhead he had given her, that she sometimes left the fort with him alone without chaperone or escort. My wife had hidden these things from me. She'd lied to me. I bound her to a tree deep in the forest where no one would hear her screaming when the beasts came for her. I told her it was the price of treason. I wonder how good her bow is. Probably better than mine. It was here that I last saw my sister. I remember waking in the darkness. I felt her trembling beside me and realized she was crying. She wouldn't tell me why. She said I wouldn't understand. The next morning, she was gone. No one had seen her. There was no trace of her. She never would have left without me. She would have said goodbye. Do you recognize this silver locket? Yes, it is my mother's. I'm sure of it. Then you are Alison Markley, 
daughter of James and Philippa, sister of Tabitha. I remember now. Why couldn't I think of it before? Hmm. Your father killed your mother. That cannot be. She didn't tell him that Tabitha was in love with an Indian. I didn't think she knew. Your father said that Tabitha ran off to the Indians. Tabitha was very taken with an Indian boy. She sometimes snuck away to see him, but she always returned. You went into the woods to find your sister. I could feel she was suffering, that she needed me. Nobody believed me. I begged my father to search for her again, to take me with him. He refused. I remember him sitting at his desk by faint lantern light, scribbling fiercely with a quill. I called goodnight from the doorway. He looked up at me, but did not speak. I knew he was still angry that I had mentioned Tabitha, so I turned away and didn't look back. I've learned the fate of a wraith. Oswin Ford cheated in a duel against Roger Emery to avenge his pride. How can a man avenge his pride by sullying it? So blech, I can't pronounce anything. How can a man avenge his pride by sullying it? I don't know. Seems strange, doesn't it? It seems Isabel Emery was hanged for trying to kill Ford with her, with her father's blade. Though I pity her, it was foolish of her to think she would please her father by resorting to treachery when it was treachery that killed him. Lewis Archer killed the man who killed his sister. Then he made himself a murderer, to avenge a murder. He prized his desire for vengeance above his neighbor's desire for order and justice. Okay, so I know all that stuff's kind of heavy, but uh, I have a gift for you. The silver locket that belonged to your mother. It is a precious gift. You have my thanks. So... I suppose I still have to find Tabitha, right? She's still alive, I think. Now I know who she is. Allison Markley. Nothing in the darkness, right? Mm, yep. It's time to move on. Did I ever go up here? Let's go west. Let's go check out that pathway. Because I'm guessing this probably continues the main pathway, but I want to know what's up here. The captain said that Alison Markley started screaming and then fainted dead away. When they finally roused her, she began to sob, saying her sister was dead. Yeah, she did say that she felt like her sister was in trouble, needed her. Doesn't even really seem like a pathway. Well, okay, I suppose it is. I swear I hear something. There it is. Oh. Damn it.
Alright, let's head over here. So, we're going... Southwest. the right pathway, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, forget the tomahawks. They seem cool to use, but they almost never work. They go, like, right between their legs or something. Need a more generous hitbox. <gasps> it's a spade! A digging spade well suited to breaking through hard soil. You can now dig in places where the trowel wasn't suitable. This grave appears to have been dug up and filled back in. The name on the marker is illegible. That's creepy. A small key. Oh, there's so many things I can dig up! God, I just want to go back there and find them. Okay, was there anything back here to dig up? Like, I, I've never dug up a single one of those... Yeah, like, what's in it? Is it just treasure? 200 coins! Oh my god. Okay, and there was one over here. Gonna have to go shopping really soon. Warrior's short bow. Whoa. That sounds amazing. Oh my god, I've got so much crap. Let me make sure it is actually all crap. Yes, it is. Damn, I've got so much money! Okay. Warrior's short bow. Oh my god, I think that might be amazing. <gasps> it's so good! Oh my god! Okay, damage is over double the common short bow. It's more powerful than the quality long bow. Oh my god, I need to dig up more of these things. Range, still short. Speed, still very fast. Deflect chance, deflect chance is 0%. And it's worth a thousand. That has got to be like the best short bow in the game. Holy crap. That is amazing. Does it look special? I'm not sure what the old one looked like. Anyway, this is going to be like the only weapon I use. I <laughs> forget the longbow. going to snipe people with the shortbow, which is kind of ironic, I suppose. Okay, I need to dig up more of those things. Damn. Damn. I wonder if the ones you find inside of towns are maybe typically just... Uh, typically just money. But maybe like the super special hard ones to find, the ones out in the world like that one. Are maybe... Special equipment. I don't know, but I can tell you what I'm going to buy here, though. I am going to buy a short bow quiver. Okay, let's see if I can fast travel on the world map. You can. Okay, wow. 
Oh, this is probably going to take a while to load. But I remember there were a bunch of things I could potentially dig up here. There's so many things I could dig up everywhere, oh my god. Must dig up stuff. Need stuff. Hmm. Two hundred coins. Two hundred coins. Yeah, okay. I think that's how it works. Probably mostly or entirely coins inside of the towns and super, super special stuff if you find it outside of towns. Was there anything on Dodd's Hill? Oh, no, that's just a pathway. Okay. God, I can't remember the ones that were outside of the towns, though. Like, I don't remember any of those. But let's keep taking a look inside of the towns. This loot is too good to pass up. You know, it's funny how this game is sometimes quite immersive, and then sometimes it's very gamey. I mean, I feel like I'm totally game here. I, I just, I'm trying to collect money to buy stuff from, like, this magical shop. It's kind of silly. Scout's shortbow. Okay, another shortbow. Shortbow ain't so short. I missed. God, this thing's amazing. Well, I actually haven't gotten any ammo for my musket from these guys. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I guess now I have ammo. You be that. Alright, let's take a look at this couch short bow. It's damn good, but, uh, oh, wait a minute, it's different. Hold on. It does less damage, but the speed is actually extremely fast as opposed to very fast. And they both sell for the same amount. Hmm. Hold on. Check for more diggy diggies. Oh, there's another one. Guardsman crossbow, Jesus! This stuff feels OP, it's like, forget spending money, just get everything by digging it up. That makes me feel like I'm very close to the end of the game. As if they're saying, you're gonna have to fight really hard stuff, and or who cares, might as well get the best equipment because you're basically done. Oh, it's a page. This morning we observed two savages observing us from the adjacent hill for more than two hours. They made no effort to conceal themselves and seemed very relaxed and curious. Samuel Millard remarked that if we could see two of them, then there must be another dozen hidden. Let's look around for things to pick up. Dig up, rather. Nice shot. Ugh. All right, let's check out this 
Scout's short bow. So this is the one that's extremely fast, right? That's kind of amazing. Yeah, that's kind of insane. I actually think I might like that more. That is truly nearly a machine gun arrow. Bow and arrow. A machine gun bow. <laughs> there we go. Got it right. I think I actually might like that more. So compared to the long bow, to slightly less damage. All right, guardsman crossbow, 150 damage. Oh my god. Okay, so this is. I'm just gonna replace my quality musket with this. I think I'm just going to not use a longbow anymore. I mean, this is basically my longbow. Yeah. Okay, so Warrior Shortbow does a lot of damage. That's good for picking off people uh, from a long distance, you know. Does the most damage, probably kills them in one hit if I hit them in the head especially. And this one's obviously extremely good up close. Alright, let's try this thing out. Hmm. The reload time is slow, but it's a lot faster than the musket, even though they both have the same reload time text. It's a shame the sound for this is so weak, it just makes it feel like crap. It's like, pew, pew. Compared to the musket, which just, just sounds awesome. Alright, let's look for more loots. God, there's got to be so many cool things out in the forest I've missed. Things that I could dig up that I just don't remember where they are. And I really don't feel like searching the whole forest for it. Rusty Iron Shackles. Huh. That's for a place I've already solved. But they know you can't get the spade until you continue on that far, so why would they put that there? What does that mean? Is that some sort of a special super secret clue? A little bit more backstory? I wonder. Well, I might as well just spend my money at this point buying quivers and whatnot. There's no point in holding on to it. I don't even need to buy, you know, weapons anymore, really. Alright, I think that's it for here. You know what, hold on. I think I remember another place back here. That's actually outside of the main fort. There's something to dig up here. Maybe it was, but it was a normal dirt thing. Oh, it was a normal dirt thing. Okay. Never mind. Did that seriously miss? How did that miss? There we go. I don't even need to headshot him. How did the first one miss? I shot him like right in the chest. Uh, 
I don't even need to use my stronger bow. I just use the super fast one that does less damage. This seriously seems OP. so many out in the forest that I'm missing. Alright, let's try the machine gun nature of this thing. Missed a bunch there, but yeah, this thing's fast. This thing's amazing. Duelist's pistol. Hmm. It's a pistol that does 150 damage. Oh my god. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's better than anything I've ha I have at the moment. Yeah, very short range. I mean, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. It does as much damage as the guardsman's crossbow. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Since, I mean, the warrior's shortbow seems amazing, but I like the super speed of this. Like, this is my long range, the crossbow. The shortbow is my short range, even kind of medium range, to be honest. I actually think I might just leave the warrior's shortbow. God, I almost scrapped it. <laughs> Let's not scrap it. Yes, yeah, so that gives me my mainstay weapon, the short bow. And then I have the duelist's pistol and the guardsman's crossbow, which are different ranges, but for any up close character, pretty much both mean instant death. And they have slow reload, so I can. So I can kill two enemies up close and personal very quickly. You know. Boom. Boom. Dead. And dead. What, how the fuck did that miss? Are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah, this thing is missing in very strange circumstances. I'm not sure what. I don't know if it's arcing down or if it's going way above my crosshair or what. Some rather odd things are happening. Let's test it. I think it hit right on. Yeah, it seems like it hit right on. Test it out on this foo. Right in the chest. Oh, I think it fell. Yeah, it fell. Okay, so I need to aim up a bit more. What the f <laughs> and you're dead. <clears throat> and you're dead. I don't like it when people don't die when I say they should. Rude. There's a lot more things to dig up in the forest, I'm sure. But let's head on back. Let's buy a bunch of equipment. Max out my ammo stores. 
Get some charming charms. Get some lucky charms. Okay. Don't need a longbow quiver. Don't have a longbow. I will take this. No, crossbow quiver. Common charm of swiftness. It's not that good. Makes me move 6% faster. Let's go just grab some crossbow bolts. Yeah. Let's get some short bow arrows. Alright. I'm good to go. Anything new to say to you? I was frightened to move here, but I found I was happier here than Fort St. George. For a while, at least. I have a gift for you. <laughs> Iron shackles! Uh, that's a very strange gift. Why are you giving me these horrid things? I thought we could play a game of Rescue the Princess. Wow, that is fucked up. In case you need to shackle someone. Don't tempt me. Okay. <clears throat> Play a game of Rescue the Princess. I almost want to click that just to see what the hell she says. <laughs> I just imagine she would just take out her bow and just shoot me in the foot, pinning me to the ground with an arrow. Actually, it probably wouldn't penetrate that far. And she'd probably say something like, Rescue the princess. Seems more like the prince needs rescuing. And then she'd use the iron shackles on me. <laughs> yeah. This feels a little OP. back there. Preparing his game plan, but he took too long. It's like, oh my god, what do I do? This guy's amazing. I know, if I stand behind this tree... Oh, I'm dead. Western Gate destination. None shall pass without leave of the Lord Governor. Well, I don't think the Lord Governor's alive anymore. Deep Forest. 